Your wedding day is supposed to be a dream come true. I say the whole night and there was a disaster. Could these people be serial wedding crashers? Tonight, two police departments are working together to find out. You've seen the drawings, a $100 million upgrade to the Target Center. Half that money ready to spend. Tonight, we investigate what's holding up the project. But first, did Minnesota police officers give protesters drugs to get them high? These people were not treated in an ethical way. The video and now the lawsuit that could cost taxpayers a lot of money. This program essentially violated the constitutional rights of our plaintiffs, our clients. A courthouse showdown this afternoon between attorneys for the protesters and lawyers for 18 law enforcement agencies. Counties across the state want that lawsuit dropped, but already the state has made some big changes to that program. Five Eyewitness News reporter Mark Albert was in the courtroom today for the arguments. So, Mark, what happened in court? Well, the whole fight is over what's known as the Drug Recognition Evaluation, DRE, program. It trains officers how to visually detect if someone is under the influence of illegal drugs. But the lawsuit claims some officers facing a deadline started giving people drugs to watch them get high. There are officers that are giving people marijuana uh, to smoke. Well, that's not true. No, it is because I didn't. This is the cell phone video that rocked the state's drug recognition program for law enforcement. If you hadn't shot the videotape and others had not shot the videotape, would there be a lawsuit today? I really don't think that there would be a lawsuit. It required the video to force the issue. Dan Fight shot one of the videos and came to federal court Monday to watch the fallout. So for you, is this about accountability? I think yes, it's partly about accountability, but also because our society does not address chemical dependency in a socially constructive way. Inside a ninth floor courtroom, attorneys for 26 officers and 18 agencies argue the lawsuit alleging constitutional violations should be tossed out. Attorney Jason Hively told the judge no one was forced to do anything. Quote, they all knew that they were using marijuana, Hively declared. There was no experiment here. They knew exactly what they were getting into. It essentially used them as guinea pigs. But lawyer Alan Milstein argued officers with badges and guns coerced his clients to get into the back of squad cars, got them high, and then dropped them off without medical care. And he claims that also violated their free speech rights because they were all protesters taken from an Occupy Minnesota demonstration in downtown Minneapolis. Could have gone to a baseball game, a state park, a college campus, but they chose to target people who were exercising their First Amendment rights. One officer even said in an incident report he saw his training partner give what he assumed was marijuana to someone and then that person smoked it. The officer said he was, quote, in shock and did not say anything at the time. But prosecutors declined to charge anyone for this, saying there was not enough evidence and that there were conflicting stories both among officers and among protesters. The judge did not rule today. Okay, Mark, we already know that they made a list of changes to this DRA program. So where does that program stand right now? Right, so in the wake of this video that became public, uh, there was an officer that was suspended, or the program was suspended, rather. There was an officer that was put on leave. Last month, though, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety announced the program would continue after those reforms that you mentioned were put into place, including ending the state's field training and instead sending officers to a California Highway Patrol uh, course for that. A DPS spokesman told us that there are no trainings scheduled now until at least next spring, since they normally only do it once a year. Um, and we are waiting for that decision. It may take about a month or so. All right, thanks, Mark. And uh, right now at KSTP.com, you can read the lawsuit, the response from the state and the counties, and watch our past coverage. Just click on links. Leah? Bill, tonight, a five-eye witness.